St. Mark's Hospital. What happens during the procedure? We will give you the choice of whether or not you wish to receive sedation for the examination. If you choose sedation, you will be given medication to make you more relaxed and provide pain relief during the test. This is given to you through a small tube placed in a vein in the arm or back of the hand. A clip will be placed on your finger to monitor your pulse and oxygen level. You will also be given oxygen through a small tube placed just inside your nose. Having sedation means that it will be necessary for you to have a short recovery in the unit before discharge. An alternative form of sedation can be offered to you such as gas and air. This is an anaesthetic gas that works well as an effective painkiller. If you choose to have it, you will be asked to rest in the unit for half an hour after your procedure. After this time, you are safe to drive and go home unescorted. The endoscopist will then gently insert the colonoscope through your back passage into your colon. During the procedure, carbon dioxide gas is passed into your colon to give a clear view of its lining. You may experience some wind-like pains or slight cramping, but they should not last long. You might feel as if you need to go to the toilet. This is a perfectly natural reaction, but as the bowel will be empty, there is no need to worry. The actual time spent on an examination will vary between patients and examinations. The procedure can take around 30 to 60 minutes. If it takes longer, please do not worry. Potential risks. When a polyp is removed, there is a very small risk of bleeding. It will usually stop spontaneously, but observation and further treatment in hospital may be necessary. On very rare occasions, a small hole in the colon can develop, which we call a perforation. If this occurs, admission to hospital is necessary, and occasionally surgery is required to repair the damage. Occasionally bleeding may occur when a patient has gone home, and even more rarely, some of these people may need a blood transfusion. Delayed complications can occur up to 14 days after your procedure. If you are travelling in this period, you must check your travel insurance provides adequate cover. Another rare complication is an adverse reaction to the intravenous sedative medication. Also, you should be aware that bowel preparation might prevent the absorption of the oral contraceptive pill. Occasionally, the test may be incomplete or abandoned altogether. This can happen if you find the procedure too uncomfortable or if the bowel preparation did not empty your bowel completely. When this happens, the test may need to be repeated or we might suggest an alternative procedure.